What up, gang? It's your boy Chase. Whoa. What? We at Cortez out in Henrietta. About to do a review on something pretty nice. Something that I was going to do a review on a couple years ago when they first came out. But I'm here now. Bronco right here. This nice white thing. I'll get turn the camera back on. Check it out. Good guys. Look who has come here. Get your cars from him or anybody. Sales manager or uh, sales professional come is Jason. Check him out at Quirk T, y'all. We for this uh, Bronco 2024. Getting dumps with it. So right now we're looking on our hood. Like I told you, I like to do stuff backwards. So you're looking at the doors. We're going to do all this. Look up on here. This is 2.7 EcoBoost. So this thing looks pretty bad. Aggressive looking too. So I'm sure. And you got the, the code. So if you want to get it, program your thing. So you got the nice lift over here, y'all. This already stays out. Which not like that. I want that electric thing, so anything malfunction, this is pretty good. It's a nice high step for it. So, so you got like this beige color. Door lock. This is nice too. Right here. Everything's here. Nice little net. Like I said, it's like similar to like a Jeep style, but you know, they brought it back looking nice. The Broncos was pretty cool. Check this out, I got the Bronco name here. Nice little, I want to say like a navy bluish right there. This color is pretty nice inside. It's always cool to, the new car smell, guys. Check it out. Got the Bronco, the horse on here, y'all. Check that out. Woo! The color of the two-tone color in the on the seats. You got, you can take these off. And you know, you can ride around looking cool. Don't see what's back. Okay, it's a little different. So we got is indicate that the hood is open. Okay, so you got the nice little I want to say probably eight eight inch screen or nine inch whatever. Like I said, this one got delivered. So for the sticker price on there, oh no, it's on there. Why well, didn't see it over there? Some reason I didn't see it, but yeah, we got a internet mobile spectrum backing in over here, so you hear that beep. But yeah, this thing is pretty nice in here. So you got all the little modes, driving modes right here. You got your actually all your four by four, your um, height or level two gear modes. This thing is automatic. Look, even like how they got the name in birded with the uh, Broncos. You got it like right here. Well, not right there, but the letters is similar style with the, the fat letters. And I guess this shows you the model and information right here. This is pretty cool. I like how some of these automakers do things. You know, Bronco right there. Pretty much the size of this glove part. Normal standard size. My hands was pretty big, so it was like pretty big. You got small hands, it looks different. Anyway, but look at the, the gears uh, for right there. So I guess it can turn in a different radio um, how you can turn. So it looks like you can lock the backs. So you can do like pretty much like a nice little turn. So if you're doing off-road or something. So I close the door. So we're not... You're not gonna do like 120 and something like this. You probably do like 80, having fun and everything. So let me see what the modes. Okay. I wanna say where you say okay at for the hood open. Okay, there we go. See, you're always learning stuff new. See, you got the little world. As I'm zoomed in all the way. All right, now we go back. Eco. Hey, look how it does with the friendly eco mode. And it like it did something when you go back into that one. Sport. Ooh. Sport. Alright. Okay. 
let you know on that one. And it look like it's a sport something. I think the other one was sport equal shift in progress. <laughs> okay. What else we got? Slippery. Oh, so you got water. Okay. It's like, so the slippery is like the snow and water, you know, on a rainy day and then an icy day. All right, get all the slippery. Mud. Okay. Check out that. The camera popped up over here. Which angle is this? Is? Oh, then, oh, this is like the off road. So this thing is changing like crazy on you. Let me see if I, I drop back for it. Boom. Boom. Oh, they got a sand. Okay. Oh, check that out. See? Boom. For off-road use only. So, see? The button. I didn't touch this up here, but it lights up, too, to indicate what you got going on right there. Very awesome. So, there's a whole lot of technology going on here. Not just uh, the name itself from back in the day. You got a new improved Bronco out here, guys. Literally. Like I said, the screen is massive. Hold on. Look at that. The screen is nice. Nice. Nice wide angle. You can see everything right there. Let me see. Touch. Oh, yeah. Got a nice 360. Now, this is how the 360 looks. Okay, because, you know, I'm all about the camera. Got the little angles. Okay. Screen is moving faster than I would. So, oh, that is pretty impressive that I can see down this way and down that way. That is impressive. I like that. It got that nice. This is the one right here. It got that nice wider angle. And this is the front angle. That's the normal how it looks. But this angle right here, it shows you pretty good. From there, there. So it looks like I kind of missed those cameras in the front. But other than that, that's how it looks right there. I'm going to leave it like there. I like that look. I like that look. So we definitely we in park. This is, uh like I said earlier in the video, is the 2.7 EcoBoost. This thing is pretty nice. So what we got, we're not going to check out the radio because none of that copyright stuff. It got the digital for the heat wise and you know your air see 60 you got the fan what is this one how close is up m to the other truck oh that's the circulation inside so instead you have the outside air going rotate inside you got your engine stop button here no paddle shift this is a nice nice size storm wheel guys nice size storm wheel Nice size. Like I said, it's like similar like the Jeep inside. Once you sit in there, I'm like 5'11". Got a nice head clearance. I'm not that tall guy, so you got nice and clearance in here. We get down here to the buttons, the windows. Yeah, I was just noticing on the door. Let me look at the door one more time for you. You notice the door does not have none of that window stuff but we got the door lock here or window lock windows and stuff let me see one touch one touch up and one touch down and this is for your side mirrors it look like i want to say that's a, like a little weird at it's on the side it's always interesting how these automakers put their buttons and stuff in certain places i'm pretty sure you guys want to see what the the remote looks like like your little standard remote not too special and everything or it does it got bronco on the back yeah so if you go back on my old videos when i had the scat pack i did a custom to my remote this is coming from the manufacturer so i'm pretty sure you can do a little custom to it if you want to white lettering to match your truck you know red lettering to match your you know, so there's nothing to it to the remote, guys. Check it out. Mm -hmm. 
So that looks pretty cool. You got a nice little handle over here. I am not about to get in on that side to demonstrate how I look over there. Like I said, my little guy be disappointed that I was doing another review without him. But anyway, but yeah, this is the front, how it looks up here in the front. So I'm gonna do a little bit of beat roll. I'm gonna get in the back and show you the back, how it looks over there. So quick another rundown from the back. And there's nothing to it, just the open here. Oh, this is the, the lock part. It looks kind of crazy. It, don't even, it says it there. If you get a real good close look, it shows you there. A little crank, little cargo screen here. I'm glad they didn't put the cargo thing look net here because it looks a little, uh, and it seats a little small, but still looks pretty roomy. See, I like all this. This outside part of it is like pretty nice and sturdy looking. But yeah, let me close this door. So I got the back. Once again, you can look like you can take all of this off, just like how the Jeeps does. So like I said, this is like a competition to, to it. So we go open the back gate for you. The gas tank there. Oh, so it opens nice and wide right here. Nice and wide. Pretty sure this opens too, but I'm not about to do all that. You got all your nice little Rocco stuff in here, guys. Oh, this is like for, is it for when the doors are off? It looks like if the doors are off, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Looks pretty big in here. <laughs> Let me see if I can open this part. I said I don't want to, but you know, for you guys, yeah. Okay, there we go. It was nice. I would say nice storage spot for it, you know, like the trunk wise. So yeah, look, so like I said, you can take this part off and you got it riding pretty good. Like I said, I haven't saw one on the road with it off yet. But if I do, I'll try to get a snap a picture and post it on my Instagram. So everything will be in the description, the follow, and everything. There's nothing twin in the back here. It's nice, plain, simple, looks pretty good. Like I said, it's not like uh not too crazy. It's just right. Boy, it's a real nice, nice. It's not different. Like, look, check this out, right? Look at that. I told you, I still like that camera up there, the way it looks. Like, one, that's like one of the features I like so far on it. Maybe I like it if I had to go off road because it looks, tires are, I'm like, I'm telling you. I like burning my tires and roasting them, but if I had something like this, you know I am not about to do that. It's a different price level for these tires, so I would have to get someone, some type of sponsorship for tires. Yeah, I just, Burnt my tires on uh, on the stinger over there, y'all. Like, I have my tires looking like a NASCAR out here. This is Google's automatic. So I got to close it manual. Okay. Yeah. Close it manual. You like how I got this nice, big, fat, spare tire on the back. This thing is, like, perfect nice. Perfect nice. This is nice, big, fat tire. I call the nice clearness of the Bronco. Sour lights look. This thing is awesome. Look at that. Get a good look of it. White and black on a nice sunny day. I had to do it. Had to do it. When I saw it in front. All right. Now, let me get you guys with this sticker here. I don't know. If I can post it on here. In the middle of this video, let you guys pause and look at it. See the rundown. 65, 620 for it. If you got it, you got it. Who cares? Today's world, everybody should be somewhere in a different level. Yeah. So EcoBoost. This one is the 2023 one, but I'm pretty sure you can get the 2024. But like I said, this is still pretty good.
Look how this side looks. So either side, you got Bronco everywhere. Like when I say like Bronco here, Bronco there, Bronco's everywhere. You see? Left. Also, his left up here. It lets you know the left white or something. Bronco there. Like Bronco's in like part of the good spots of this truck here, y'all. Like I said, got the all these little buttons up here. We're gonna zoom up here, baby. Uh, can we see y'all? Can y'all see? Oh yeah, I know the camera does good. All that, all that lighting. This is nice, hard plastic. None of that pleather type. This is like real, real good. So I'm assuming like when you got it off on a rainy day or a mud, whatever you type doing out here, you got, you can easily clean it. For the seats wise, might have to get some type of stuff on it. I was shaking this thing, guys. Ha, ha. Let me uh, zoom out of here. I go crazy with the camera at times. But yeah, close this door. Sorry, on the other side of the passenger side of the opposite side of the driver's side. Again, not too crazy. Like I said, got this nice lift up here. It's a nice high stop. So even if you're short, you still can climb in. And I like because when the windows, pay close attention when I open the door. <laughs> the window go down, it goes up for that security purpose. And again, up under the hood, guys. Is there equal goes with a guy in a one up to these? You know, got the nice little fog lights at the bottom. You got all this here. You know. So you can tow, or I mean, not just tow, pull something. Got the nice little lights. But if you pay close to small little details, so when they do all these new vehicles, you got the Broncos inside of there, y'all. Like all of that. So this is the front camera right here. This is the one. Where is that other camera that shoots from the outside that got us that wide angle? Somewhere is showing us. Is it right here? Oh, yeah. You got, there's like two cameras on the side mirror. Because I was trying to figure it out when I was in there. They're like, similar. Oh, you can move these off from the side. So it's pretty nice put together. Like it says, nice 2023 Bronco. Here's what it looked like. They got that nice uh, matte black finish on here, so this is pretty nice in there. Looks pretty nice at the top. With that said, this is your boy, Jay's World, uh, coming at you guys with a nice, great video. Yeah, I'm leaning on it, but guess what? I'm leaning on the side, not the paint. But yeah, this is a pretty nice vehicle here. Nice day for them to uh, let me record this. And if you want one of these, come out of the Cortez and see Jason. He doesn't mind showing you the vehicle. And you guys tell me saw this video on, on YouTube. And yeah, you go from there. With that said, we ended it. Looking inside of the Bronco. You already know how I like to do it. <laughs>